Whether it's before, during, or after, Immediate Response Technologies saves lives. Hello, I'd like to present to you the isopod manufactured by Immediate Response Technologies. This product was designed to provide first responders and medical staff a safe means to isolate and transport contaminated patients from one location to another. The isopod consists of two primary components, the isolation module as well as the filtration and blower system. The theory of operations is that the isopod draws in ambient air through two particular filters. This purified air is drawn across the patient providing a cooling effect, but while under negative pressure, prevents contaminants from being able to escape that could affect the medical staff working on that patient. The air is then drawn through a cartridge where it is filtered for particulates, organic vapors, and acid gases. The benefit of this particular system is that it provides all of these CDC requirements for patient isolation in a very lightweight and small package. The system can also be used in a positive pressure application for immune deficiency patients as well as burn victims. What I'd like to do now is show you some specific features and, and options that are available with this particular system. I'd like to show you some additional features and options that are associated with the isopod. This particular version is called the Economy. We also offer a Choice and Advantage version as well as a Pediatric. The differences between those are sizes for the Pediatric, which is a lot smaller. We also offer the Advantage and Choice, additional snorkels and pass-throughs for moving medical equipment inside and outside of the isopod chamber. In addition, the Choice and the Advantage have additional glove ports uh, to support more personnel working with the particular patients. With regards to the isopod, you have a full length zipper which helps prevent contaminants from escaping during a negative pressure application. Inside the isolation chamber, there is a ribbing that's lightweight and easily removable. Everything is quick connect which you'll see more during the setup. The construction of the isopod uses 18 ounce PVC and 16 gauge clear vinyl panels. The number of panels again depends on the options that you select. The system is very lightweight, weighing with all components just under 17 pounds. As you'll see, packs in a very small, roughly three by two duffel bag. Right here, when we talk about the filtration system, we have particulate filters. As the air enters this filter, it's filtering and purifying that air that moves into the chamber across the patient. This air is then drawn through, again under negative pressure for patient isolation applications, through a cartridge that filters out particulates, acid gases, and organic vapors. This air is then moved through a breathing tube assembly into our isopod blower that provides the appropriate CFM to meet the CDC guidelines for air changes per hour. In addition, the blower provides sufficient negative pressure also to meet those CDC guidelines. The blower system also incorporates a lithium ion battery that provides up to eight hours of operation. It also includes a battery charger that within four to six hours provides full charge of the isopod blower battery and provides indication to the operator when that charging cycle is complete. The benefit of the isopod is that it provides healthcare providers a means with a very small lightweight package the ability to isolate patients that are contaminated while still meeting CDC guidelines for air changes and negative pressure requirements. In addition, under a positive pressure application, the system can provide protection from immune deficiency patients as well as burn victims. I'd like to demonstrate the setup of the isopod. As you see here, the isopod fits in this duffel that measures just under one foot by two foot by three foot. The weight of the isopod is just a little over 17 pounds. It's very lightweight and portable. To assemble the isopod, what we do is remove all of the contents from the duffel, which includes 
the cartridge. The two particulate HEPA filters. The isopod blower. The breathing tube assembly. The battery charger. And the four spines. At this point, we want to remove the isolation module from the duffel. And we're simply going to just unroll the end. Um, the isopod can be secured to a gurney if the unit that was purchased includes uh, restraints, uh, or it can just sit on a table. The assembly process is very simple. There are five ribs that extend across the isopod. You simply take both ends of the ribs and you simply insert the male receptacle into the female receptacle, and you repeat this for all five of the ribs. Once this is complete, then the four spines can be installed. The spines simply are inserted into the female receptacle at the point that's highest on the rib. You'll repeat this four times. Once the spine's installed and the ribs are installed, now you have your complete isopod frame, which again is very lightweight and easily movable. Now what we want to do is install the filtration system. We're going to start with the two HEPA filters. And what we want to ensure is that in the filter port that the gasket is present on both of the filter ports. There's a threaded connection, simply insert thread of connection, spin it, and tighten until it's snug. Repeat the process. Put your hand on the back side so you make sure you have a good fit, and your filter is installed. Now we're going to install the cartridge. If need be, you can disconnect this rib here. So you can reach inside. Again, you have a threaded connection. You're going to move to the inside port here, confirm that the gasket is installed. And then again, threading that filter in place. Until it is snug. Now for negative pressure applications, you're going to take this end of the breathing tube assembly and you're going to thread it into the blower port, again confirming